How many are like me? I'm going to carve out time and I'm just going to be in his presence and all of a sudden you think of something you got to do. Huh? Carry a notepad or open up the notepad on your phone. Write it down. Get to it later. Give him the time that he needs. The time that he wants. He wants to be here. He wants to have a habitation among us. He wants to have a habitation in your home, in, in your office, in your school, at your job. He wants to have it. We don't have to question that. So we do things so that it's not work, it's not things that make him come, it's things that, that get us engaged. Do it right. Turn off the distractions. Some of the things that we need to hear from the Word of God to encourage us that God desires this above anything. He desires relationship with us more than anything. He has made so many promises to us. If we were to sit and, and try to recount all of the promises of God in Scripture, things that we can take for granted, things that we can say, absolutely, I know God wants this for me, right? That whole, if it be thy will garbage, stop it. Here's, the th here's some things that we don't have to pray his will on. Here, here's a couple of things. Matthew 18, 20. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. We don't have to pray about whether God wants to be in fellowship with us. Isaiah 41, 10 says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. 